Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today is another video on my bronzer week and today I'm gonna do a speed reviews and talk through about my cream bronzers. Cream bronzers have been hyped up and have been cream products in general for the past year or two years but this year cream bronzer went ham and I bought a few. So I want to talk to you guys about them and I want to talk to you guys about older ones that I have and at the end I'm gonna rank them and let you guys know which one is my favorite but there are different formulas for different things so it's gonna be a tough one. So if you want to see my ranking and talk through and speed reviews of all of my cream bronzers then just keep on watching. Okay you guys, these five days of bronzers have been filmed during a huge time span because I haven't had the time to film them all because I always have other videos that are priority videos but I'm excited that I'm doing this because I've been enjoying my bronzer collection this year so 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 much more than years before so I'm gonna start with the one that I'm wearing today and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkiss Glow Bronzer this one you guys I have to tell you this is for me way better than the powder bronzer I enjoy it so much more it's just one that I want to reach for and lately I've been using my cream bronzers on their own I never apply a cream, uh, powder bronzer on top like today this is the only bronzer that I'm wearing all over my face and I just I really really love it. I love that this is a mousse consistency. I've talked about this one in different videos. This reminds me of the Maybelline Dream Matte Foundation in the consistency that it has even though this is mousse it doesn't feel as sticky as that one but it sets, it's matte and it has beautiful coverage. I always use a kabuki brush with it or just like a dense foundation brush in on the smaller side and it applies beautifully. It doesn't skip, it's not patchy and it's just a wonderful one. I would highly recommend it and it comes with a ton of product. Then one that I have here that it's an older one, I even had this in a project pan. This is the NARS and it's looking a little bit messy because it's NARS. NARS packaging, it's beautiful at first and then it sucks. This is the NARS Cappadoce Multiple and this is beautiful but it's definitely not a favorite if I have to compare it to the rest of the bronzers. It can be workable, it comes with a good amount of product even though it's not even close to the other ones. This comes with 7.5 grams and this one I purchased it before my Nova year because I was just buying like a crazy person. After filming the first time that I filmed my Nova intro, I right away went to a website and purchased a ton of things and I had to refill my intro and let you guys know that I needed to go to rehab basically. This one was an impulse purchase. I'm happy that I have it but these didn't make me fall in love with cream bronzers the way that I have fallen in love with with the ones that I have purchased or gotten this year. This is not gonna be top in the ranking. It's good, but it's good to have, but it's not a must have for me. I could even declutter it and I know I wouldn't miss it. Then these made me fall in love with cream bronzer. This is the Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Face Color in the shade Bondi Bay. I have only the smallest amount of this one and if I didn't have the ones that I got this year, that's all I have left. Would have been the top baby on my cream bronzer collection because I was just so obsessed with it. I have other shades in the blush collection, but this is just so stunning. I love the way this blends, but definitely the one that I've gotten this year took its place. I really like this. I wish I had more shades and I know it's a stable, reliable formula. It blends beautifully. It has a great amount of coverage. You can even use it as a blush, but the other ones that I have been using have taken its place as well. But this is way better than the NARS one. This is a top-notch dog in my cream bronzer collection. These I have two and these deserve different category with another one that I'm gonna be talking about. This is the Merit Bronze Balm and this is a sheer, supposedly a sheer bronzer and an easier bronzer to use. I have mine in two shades and this is just so beautiful. I have the shade Clay and Cyan or Sain and this is phenomenal. I have used it in different videos and you will see the series that I have been filming the um, Natasha Denona series, the tutorials, and this has been used and abused. You need the tiniest amount. This blends like nothing. You could basically blend it with your finger. You could apply it like nothing and it will be as sheer as you need it to be or buildable and it will keep the color if that's what you wish for. I thought it was gonna be long lasting because of 
the sheer quality that it can have but it's a long lasting product after being set with powder I have to tell you guys I always set my creams because if I don't they will melt because I live in a humidity of 100% so yeah these are wonderful I wish the packaging was a little bit different because it feels a little bit on the cheaper side but I get it Married, in my opinion there are a few products that they don't get right but the bronzer and the lipsticks are just for me top notch basically I think my two favorite products from them within that same category and this one I think it's a favorite I think this one surpasses the merit one even though the merit one I love so much because honestly you guys I have only about three cream bronzers that I could declutter or just could remove from my collection I wouldn't miss but uh, most of them they're number one in my collection I would have to choose for the ranking but they're number one this is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade light medium. When I was watching reviews to see which cream bronzers I would choose, I bought the Charlotte Tilbury one and the NARS one, and then I kept seeing reviews, reviews, and people were blown away by this one, and I had to have it, and you guys, I thought that the way people were describing it, I wasn't sure that I was gonna love it, and these I think I've used more than any other cream bronzer here, except for the NARS one. Um, the, the other NARS that I'm going to show you, not the, not the multiple, but the, the Laguna that comes in a pot. This, you guys, is so beautiful, super easy to use. It can be sheared out, it can be uh, built up, but it's never too much. The coverage is more on the medium side or light to medium. It's not a full coverage one like the NARS one that I'm going to show you or the Charlotte Tilbury that I already showed you. This is just beautiful. I think I could have this on my makeup artistry kit. And the other ones, I wouldn't want to because they're too opaque. It would be harder for me to work with them than with powders. But this is just, oh, this is phenomenal. This could be number one. I don't know. I'm going to rank them. But this could be number one. This is just so stunning on my face. And I just love it. If I were doing even a no makeup makeup, I could go ahead and use this one and I would be satisfied. A fail in my opinion, and these, the packaging looks a lot like the NARS one, is the cream bronzer by Anastasia. This is in the shade Sunkissed. Even though I like this and the formula, I think it's nice. I think it's the color, you guys. This is really light, but the thing is that it's too yellow. It looks like I'm putting mustardy a mustardy eyeshadow on my face. It can end up looking nice, but I don't know. I've used it and used it. Even though it looks okay when I use it, it never blows my mind the finished look with it. And I feel that that happens with the other ones that I've been talking about. I really love them. I couldn't picture myself without them. But this one, for some reason, I'm not obsessed with. This Illy Masca, this is the Gel Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Silhouette. I have a mini of this one. And this has, again, a category on itself because this is a gel bronzer that you can use on top of tinted moisturizer or foundation, but I actually prefer the way this looks when you're wearing nothing at all. No makeup at all, maybe only concealer and cream blush and that's it. Maybe to, the, to go to the beach and create more of a sculpted look. It gives you a shadow, it belongs to your skin. Even though it looks super dark, it's not. So this would be a separate category, but I have to show it to you guys because in my opinion, if I finish this, I would repurchase. And I would repurchase the mini and that would be okay. This is lovely. I would highly recommend that if you're a no makeup makeup type of wear, this is phenomenal to use um, on bare skin. And then last but not least, I have here, I think one of my favorites, you guys. This is the NARS Laguna 02 Bronzing Cream and these I got this year and I think this has been my most used cream bronzer. You can see the dip that it has. Maybe this one, this too, so this could be my top two. But I love the scent of it. I know people don't like scent in products and most of these do not have scent. But these scent, I love it. I just adore it. I love the shade of it. I wish I had also the lighter shade because sometimes this is full coverage. Sometimes I wish that I could use it without having to think about it because my skin, I think, you guys, is lighter than what you see on camera. This can be dark on me. And I thought it was gonna be perfect match, but even though it can look beautiful, 
it's more glam for me so I have to use a light hand when I wear it but I adore it I tend to just go in phases in which I just wear this for the entire week what I do is I put my brush in it I blend it in the cap and then that way it sparses through the brush and then I apply it all over my face and it's just beautiful you guys this also comes with a ton of product 19 grams then the um, Charlotte Tilbury one comes with 21 grams so even more than that then the Mario one oh my goodness this is expensive this comes with only five grams so this has the smallest amount amount from them all because this comes with 30 grams so this comes with even more than the rest then the Bondi Bay comes with seven grams the Married with 12.5 grams the NARS one multiple 7.5 grams and the travel size of the Ilimaska 4 grams so this one comes with basically the same amount of the travel size from Ilimaska that means that the most expensive one of them all is the Mario one and that blows my mind because I wasn't expecting that let's rank them the way that I do all of the products I'm gonna grab them at random and then I will start ranking them and choosing between them so if I have to choose between the Mario one and the Nars one, Mario would go first and Nars would go second. Then with the Laguna one and then these two Nars ones, this would go last. And then if I had to choose between these two, I would still choose the Mario one and then this one would go second. And for the Ilimaska and the, the Nars, this would go third. It wouldn't surpass the other Nars. Then for the cream bronzer by Anastasia, this wouldn't surpass the Illy Masca, but it would surpass the other NARS. Then for the Charlotte Tilbury one, oh my goodness, I could put this in the same category as the NARS one, but it's not gonna go over it. So I guess this is third on top of the Illy Masca. Then the Merit one, which I love a ton. This would still go on top of the Illy Masca, but underneath the Charlotte Tilbury, so I guess when I compare the Mario one and the Air one, the Mario would still win. And then for the nude sticks, these, even though I love it so much, it would go on top of the Ilimaska but underneath the Merit. I love the color of this one and I actually prefer it over the colors of the Merit bronzers, but those are so easy to use. I don't even have to think about it. If I didn't love the Charlotte Tilbury and the Nars one so much, I would keep the Merit and the Mario on top because I love the way the ease of use uh, they would win for ease of use for sure okay so for the ranking number one would be the makeup by Mario soft sculpt transforming skin enhancer in the shade light medium then second place it would be the NARS Laguna 02 bronzing cream then third place it would go for the beautiful skin sunkiss glow bronzer in the shade medium then I would have both of my Mary bronzers on the fourth place then I would have the nude sticks Bondi Bay bronzer then the Ilimaska gel sculpt in the shade silhouette and like I said this one could have its own category I couldn't I shouldn't even rank them with the rest of them. Then the cream bronzer from ABH. And last, it would be the last place would go for the NARS multiple in the shade Cappadoce. Last but not least, you guys, I love having different shades. This is the silhouette by Illy Masca, and it's the sheerest of them all. This one is the makeup by Mario Light Medium. This is the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury one. This one is the Nude Sticks one. This is the Anastasia. These two are the Merit. And this one is the NARS Cappadoce. So every single one of the bronzers that I have has a different tone or a different color to it. So I use them depending on the look. And I honestly, you guys, appreciate them all. I would change the shade of the ABH one. That would be it for it. I'm enjoying my cream bronzer collection. Maybe in the future I will have more. I don't feel like I need any more. Um, there hasn't been a release of a cream bronzer that I want over this ones, except for the LYS one that I wanted to try and the Rare Beauty one, but they were both sold out. And right now that they're available, I'm not shopping anything. I just, I decided that I don't need anything and I want to keep enjoying what I purchased this year that I honestly have been loving. So I just want to keep enjoying my collection. I just wanted to share that with you guys because even though I was ranking them, they're different, different finishes and also different 
tones and different undertones. But you guys, all of this work for me. If you enjoyed this video and you watched till the end, I will leave every single bronzer that is still available linked below. And if you guys want to support my channel, one way to do it is either subscribing, hitting the notification bell, giving the video a thumbs up, or shopping through my links. And then I can reinvest and get new products to review for you guys. That's something that you could do. You don't have to, but if you are gonna shop any of these products, then I would suggest that you would go through a YouTuber or a creator that you love through their links to support their channel. So that's it, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.